Heavenly Father. As I enter this workplace. I bring your presence with me. I speak your peace. Your grace. Your mercy. And your perfect order into my work. I acknowledge your power. Over all that will be done, spoken, thought. And decided within these walls. I commit to use them responsibly in your honor. Give me a fresh supply of strength to do my job. Anoint my projects, ideas, and energy. So that even my smallest accomplishment, may bring you glory. Lord, when I am confused. Please guide me. When I am weary, energize me. When I am burned out. Infuse me with the light of the Holy Spirit. May the work that I do. And the way I do it. Bring faith, joy and a smile. To all that I come in contact with today. Lord, please help me to be focused and productive today. And when I leave this place. Give me traveling mercy, bless my family and home. To be in order as I left it. Lord, I thank you for everything you've done. Everything you are doing. And everything you are going to do. Lord, I thank you, for the gifts. You have blessed me with. In the name of Jesus I pray. With much love and thanksgiving. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings to our beloved BBS teachers and well-wishers. I am so glad to have you all at All Saint Church Kunur, VBS 2020. It's a difficult situation, but as it is said by our Lord Jesus Christ that the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world at the end times. Therefore, dear teachers, as you are doing the VBS ministry in this church for many years, I extend my heartfelt desire to all of you to continue the VBS for this year also. We are trying a level best to have a link with you through this WhatsApp and online VBS program. Of course, it will be a new and innovative way this year also. But I have full faith that our Almighty God will use you as an instrument for this year in a successful way. Every year, dear teachers, we begin with a teacher's devotion. For this year also, we have prepared a devotion in the next slide. So please go through this with prayer and reverence. God bless with your previous ministry this year. Once again, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless. Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control of every situation that has troubled my mind. All my cares and burdens unto you. Every 
teachers greetings to you all in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ i like to share a few things from the word of god first peter chapter 2 verse 9 says you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation a people belonging to god that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light based on this verse we have the foundational question who am i really it tells us this you are a person of great privilege and a person with great potential therefore how can we understand this we know the history of saint paul He persecuted the church and he worked against the Lord's disciples. 
he went to the high priest and asked letter to take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. While he was traveling to Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him and he heard a voice, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Why, O Lord? Saul asked. I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting, he replied. No, get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. After this incident, his life was changed. He accepted the word of God, and Saul became Paul. He started encouraging people by the word of God. He went to various cities to proclaim the good news, particularly at Ephesus. Ephesus was a commercial center and it also boasted a pagan temple dedicated to the Roman goddess Diana. But Paul made Ephesus as a center for evangelism. To overcome the devil's schemes, Paul asked everyone to put on the full armor of God, that are belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and sword of the Spirit. So my dear teachers, God has chosen you this year, like Paul, to fulfill his purpose by leading our children towards his kingdom with the full armor of God. When we go through according to the word of God, we will declare the praises of him because through this ministry, we can see the fruit of the spirit and can see changes in the lives of our beloved children. Sometimes we may think that the challenge before us is very tough. But Jesus said to us, I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. So let us understand a God's plan. And I am sure that God has chosen you to make you a blessing to many. So let us not blame our situation or get discouraged or be panic. But just wait and hold on to God. God's plan is always the best. Everything has a reason and a season. So, do well and God bless you all. Let us pray. Loving, gracious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you and praise you for this time. Father God, we remember all the blessings you have showered upon us. And especially this time, we come before you for your grace, for your compassion, and for your mercy. Father God, we thank you for all the opportunities you have given to us. In this prevailing situation, you are given one more opportunity to have our VBS for our beloved children. Especially, we commit our children, our teachers, and everyone who are involving in this VBS ministry. Father God, we know that it's very difficult, but we know that you are always with us. According to will and wish, this year also we'll be able to have this VBS through our church. We pray for your guidance. We pray for your support. And moreover, Father, we ask your support, your presence, especially with all our children. Fill them by your Holy Spirit and guide them according to your will. Help them to understand the word of God and give your strength to accept the word of God. And it's easy for them to know who is our Lord Jesus Christ. By that we may join together and to say, yes, our Lord is with us. Once again, we pray for all our Sunday school children and other children and VBS teachers and directors 
and well wishers and those who are involved in all this in this ministry. Bless them abundantly. Let the ministry be a meaningful one. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.